It's a beautiful day in Orlando to be grateful. So we set up shop at Lake Eola to ask people one thing. Well, for one thing, I'm grateful for this beautiful weather, right? Because other places, they're having a hard time. People here have a lot to give thanks for, like friends. I'm grateful for Jake. I'm grateful for my best friend. I guess she's always been there to like pick me up and make me feel special. To be living here in Central Florida. Uh, I'm super happy for this weather, this beautiful, beautiful weekend. And I'm grateful for Orlando because it's beautiful. And of course, I'm grateful for my family. So why are we asking now? Gratitude is something you usually hear being shared around the table during the Thanksgiving meal. But Thanksgiving's over. But numerous studies have shown that gratitude can improve your mental health all year long. Take it from licensed mental health counselor Chantala Boss. It can really change your brain, change your brain waves, change the synapses in the brain and the way that they fire, so that if you're continuing to practice that positive thinking, it'll actually come naturally. She says an attitude of gratitude can improve nearly all aspects of your life. And it can increase self-esteem, it increases positivity in relationships, it decreases resentment, it improves sleep quality as well. So it's definitely a big thing to our overall physical health. And if you think you have nothing to be grateful for, then you need to hear from Celestina Dyer, who walked up to our mic with this one. I'm grateful for surviving breast cancer. <laughs> she's not out of the woods yet, but she's thankful to have more time. I'm still alive, still doing well. So doing my exercise, walking around Lake Eola. Doctor's orders. <laughs> Which is something anyone watching this story can be grateful for. Eric Mock. I'm grateful for you guys doing this. <laughs> Spectrum News 13.